Register, we're talking about the energy generator that runs without fuel. It is a process at which you can design your generator that is a fuel. This channel gives you all the details. If you go to the playlist, the playlist will see different methods you can use to add You can add top in producing your energy. For some time, we have been talking about how you can design a free end generator using one motor and three generators. That is, if you want to have a high capacity generator, you want to design a high capacity generator, you can use one motor and three generators combined to produce that. We talk about two generators combined, we talk about three generators combined. And in the last production, I also explain how you can solve the power of program. In fact, that video, if you have not watched it, please go back and watch it. Very important because there's a lot of secret that I unveil in that area, which most of you want to know. Because I've had a lot of some people asking how to solve this problem of power of each time I turn energy to change over. The energy will go up and explain on that video very, very clear. And I see secret. So, please, if you are new or if you have not watched that video, I will advise you to go there and watch it because it will help you so much. Now, today I'm going to discuss a very important issue again because I've had a lot of serious questions from my subscriber about the issue of how long. This energy generator lasts. How long does it run? As you mean, you send a generator now, you want to use it. How long would you use it? How, what is the longest time? What time, estimated time, will you want to use the generator? And how long? So, today, that's what I'm going to focus on how to solve a problem. First of all, I want to tell you the problem of energy. Is the problem of power off. One of the major problem of of free energy generator is the issue of power off. And if the power is off, there will be no generator. The generator will not work. If there is no these two components, this is the motor and this is the generator. If these two components are not where to do, what to do means they are not in good condition. The energy will not work as you expect, it will not run as long as you expect. So, but if these two equipment are fixed and they are okay, definitely expect your generator to run, to rust, that to run for a long period of time. So, the, the process of running a free engine network solely depends on the equipment you use. But in the nutshell, the energy generator can run as long as possible. It can run the whole day, can run the whole night, can run the whole two days, three days, four days, five days. As long as these two things, which is common, the generator and the motor, are in proper condition. Proper condition means it's not overheated and it's also it's not outdated. Material you use in design because some people who use outdated material, they grab, they grab use a scrap and they don't design the generator. And you know, when something, when the equipment is not in a good condition, just like driving a car, you do not 
expect the best from it. So that's one of the things you have to let you know. But before we do that, I will take you back again for you to see another setup which will help you to understand that the energy generator can only last long also if the setup of the generator is properly mounted. Because if you are if the equipment is not properly mounted, definitely you are going to have issue of sustaining the energy running. Now let us look at the setup of this energy so you can now take a look at the conference about how to do it as well. Now, let's look at the particular area. You see, this is the joint. This joint joins the motor and the generator. With this, without this joint, these two equipment or these two components cannot communicate. So, for your energy to also last long as you expect, the last one hour, two hours, three hours, a day, two days, one week, even one year, this joint must be properly connected because if this is removed or is connected or breaks or scattered, this energy will stop because there will be no communication. There will be communication gap between the motor and the generator. So you have to take note of this area. So if you are cost of your energy, you mentioned that if you introduce this flyweight, the flyweight should be the fair type, should be strong type. If you are using this kind of design, which is the joint style, then you must also tighten it very strong. So that as the generator is running or shaking, there will be no problem on the joint. So take note of that. Let's continue. Another area also I want you to have a knowledge and idea on is the area of the base, the, the not the screwing system. Because sometimes we look overlook these things in my design generator. That's of course, you can see this one is a good base energy generator that is the wood that is being used as a base because maybe you know, the cost. Now, whatever piece you are using, if you are using iron, no problem. If you are using base, a wood base, no problem. As long as the wood has strong time. But what you have to know, which is very, very important, is that you must screw, you must tighten the knot. The screw you are using to tighten these things, this base, are very crucial. And it's not a very crucial because as the energy is running, this if this boat or the boat in this or this energy generator are not properly firm, tightening, 
definitely it will be shaken. The spiritual will be shaken. And when it's shaking, the spiritual will not run. And that will affect the pressure capacity of the generator. So this is very important. You have to take note of this one. You must properly tighten every knot in this generator. If you want the generator to last long, the pressure. Because as long as, long as the the equipment are in a good condition, the mounting are in a good condition, the jello can run as long as possible. Let's continue. This is very important. This is now connected, as you can see now, the, the system is all properly connected now. The question is now, how long will this system run? If these cables, as you can see now, these cables are being, they are used in connection of this generator, are not properly connected, the energy will not run. Because the cables are not strong tight, the overheating will appear. Because as you are working with materials on it, they will be overheating. Overheating will come in through the system and the energy will not last. So it's also advisable that you use proper cables and the connections, as you can see, the connections are properly done. Because when the connections are properly done, the overheat will not be there and that will make the energy to last as long as possible. 